One more. One more. Let's get it. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Gabe. We're back again with another video. <laughs> What is going on everyone? It's your boy Gabe. Today we are reviewing a 2018 Porsche Macan. All right, this is the base model and I'll show you guys the gadgets. We'll start with the exterior and work our way in. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more 97. Other than that, let's get to it. All right, everyone. So this is the exterior of the Porsche Macan. Okay, um, I'm really digging the front. I think all the grills make the car look more aggressive, in my opinion. All right. Um, I like these fog lights. I really, I really dig the fog lights. Looks, uh, it kind of has that older look to it, but also that newer look with all these LEDs in here or whatever. And then um, I think the grill makes the car look way more aggressive. And I'm gonna show you guys how the daytime running light looks. As you can see, there goes the daytime running lights. Four little dots right there. Looks like a nice little square. But there it is. And I'm also digging the turn signals. This is the turn signal right here. And as you see, I like how it's nice and curvy right here, but it does affect the cargo area and if there's a tall person in the back. But uh, these wheels are staggered, all right? And these wheels are huge. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but these wheels are huge. Those are a lot bigger than the ones up front. So if you ever own this car and it's time to purchase tires, you're gonna drop a pretty dime because this is going to be two different size, two different prices. This car also comes with the quad exhaust. All right. And I'm really, really digging the rear lights right here. This is this nice little strip right here. And at night, oh my God, it probably looks so good. I'll show you guys how the turn signal looks. I think it's pretty cool how this whole thing lights up right here. So another cool thing about the exterior of the Porsche Macan is to open the trunk all right it's just this button right here and you'll press it and then boom there goes the trunk i think that's pretty cool and you can just press this and it'll shut it down right there i would have never guessed <laughs> and this car has a nice little wing right here with the third brake light and i want to say my favorite thing about the exterior guys is the panoramic roof this thing is very nice. Most of these newer cars are starting to come out with that type of roof. With the sunroof, it's like, takes up the whole roof or whatever, but I, I really like it. And I'm gonna show you guys what the car looks like on the inside. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how to enter the 2018 Porsche Macan. So here are the keys. It is keyless entry, all right? It's got the unlock, the lock, and then the trunk button right there. It's just gonna... So this is how the interior looks in the Porsche Macan. All right, so once you're in, you got your key in your pocket, wherever you have your key, there's this little key right here, this fake dummy key. You're gonna put your foot on the brake and you're just gonna turn it. And boom, it starts the car. So like the older Porsche models, that's where the key was, the ignition where you start it. So it seems like they just kept this to keep the tradition going, but I think it's pretty cool. And as you can see, there goes all the gadgets that this car has all the gadgets my favorite part of the interior of this car has to be the steering wheel the steering wheel it looks extremely sporty it has the paddle shifters right here all right got this big porsche crust right there I don't, i'm really i'm really digging the steering wheel so this thing is amazing the interior of this car i mean i don't even know where to start but i guess we'll just start right here screw it all right so this it's your headlights. I'll just keep that part on auto just because you don't have to worry about this one. When you're getting out of the car and um, when you're getting in and it turns dark, the lights will automatically go on. Um, this right here would be for your seating. So if you like to sit very close, you could set it up to where you could just press one and it'll just go right back. It'll go right back to that position where you're at. It's the lock, it's the on. These are the windows, they're all automatic. right put that back up and um let's get to the infotainment system this car is also uh carplay compatible as you can see you can do your map right here you can do your phone all that good stuff let's start with the um let's start start up here all right we'll start up here so 
this controls this side of the AC vents and this one controls that side of the AC vents as you can see. So if I want it hotter, I can just go up in temp. As you can see, it's going up. If I want colder, I'll obviously go down. And um, if you want to control this at the same time, same settings, you'll just press sync. If I wanted this temperature to be different from this side, I would turn sync off and then I'd raise mine up while this one stays the same. All right, so once the AC is on, um, if you want the AC to come to your face, you'll press that. If you want the AC to go to your feet, press that. And then, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just press the buttons on, you press them again and turn them off. And then these seats are heated. They come with heated seats. I still haven't sat in a car that comes with uh, seats that have AC in it, but this car also has a different sports mode. So when you, put in sport mode or sport plus you can feel the suspension of the car getting tighter it goes lower so you have more control you could hear the engine idle louder more aggressive so when you put it in sport all right the idle is like the only thing that changed it the suspension doesn't get changed but once you put it on sport plus then it gets like everything changes all right so we're gonna press it i'm gonna let you guys hear the idle and then i'm gonna let you guys see how the height of the car changes so right now i'm putting it on sport plus You know, the idle goes up because the rpms goes up all right i just took it off as you guys can see the rpm went down and support plus is on you can see it going back up i'll show you guys how it looks on the outside thing about the sport plus is the valves on the exhaust opens up so it opens up so you can hear it sounds more aggressive it just makes the car scream a lot louder when it's in sport plus so this is to lower the car this is the turn off traction control this right here is your e-brake you just pull that up and parking brake is on in order to turn that off foot on the brake parking brake is off all right um this is for the exhaust I don't know, you guys weren't able to hear that, but the exhaust got louder to turn it off. This, um, I believe, is for your lanes. So if you have this on, it'll let you know if you're like falling into another lane or not. Heated seats, and that is everything I repeated on this side. And another thing I noticed is Porsche still has the CD to this car. Um, this is a default map, so if you're not using Apple CarPlay, you wanna have your maps on, this is it right here, it is touchscreen. A bit responsive too. Now we got these buttons up here. I don't know if you guys can really see because of the light. So this button right here is for the for the sunroof. If you want to just put this back, you'll just press that button right here and it'll go back just like that. And it goes all the way back, which is pretty cool. At night, you can see the stars, the moon, whatever. And if you want to put the sunroof back, you obviously just press this button. And then it all goes back. It's pretty simple. All right, to do the opposite, you'll just push this back up. And then you'll do the same for the sunroof cover. There it is. So here we got the rear. All right, these are the back seats. Hop on, I'm not that tall, so I have nice space, but I wanna say if you're about like six foot or taller, you're gonna have to ask the person up front, maybe to move it up a little bit, but it comes with the uh, AC in the back, it comes with heated seats, and you can control your temp, which is all right here. All right, boom. Outlets for your chargers. And, uh, for a short person like myself, it's pretty spacious, but if you're tall, um, you're, you're fresh out of luck. <laughs> so to open the trunk, you just press this button right here, and then the trunk goes up. So, like I said, the trunk, um, I don't know if I said this before though, but the trunk is very spacious, kind of. All right, it comes with all the good stuff right here. This is a subwoofer. The sound system on this car is extremely good. It's pretty spacious back here. You could fit a lot of stuff 
back here. You could even fit a human being back here. Um, like I said, because of the car being so curvy, it does mess with the cargo space back here. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty big for a, for a crossover slash like SUV, whatever you want to call this car. So I covered most of everything that I've known, that I've learned. I did my own research when I got this car. So um, I'm gonna do a couple sound clips of the exhaust so you guys can hear it because um, I am a car guy. So we're gonna hear how this thing goes. crossover whatever we want to call this car this car can move i'm gonna be honest this car can move and i don't know if you guys can hear the engine the engine is just so so powerful so aggressive we are going to do a zero to 60. see how see how this car takes off but i would i would definitely get this car get this Porsche Macan but I'd probably get like the newer version check that one out uh, newer is always better I guess we can say but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are watching this video and you guys know that I left a thing or two out go ahead and throw it down in the comment section below um, other than that I don't know this, this is all around great car great SUV car have the kids in the back grocery shopping but um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more 97. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. And stay tuned for more videos. Other than that, we out. My jumper is water. Bad. Give me one more. Got a clean rep. Give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rush more. One more set. Need one more. Got a bad. Give me one more. Got a clean rep. Give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rush more. One more set. Need one more. Yeah.